Hi everybody. For this video we're going to be doing some coolant temperature sensor circuit diagnosis and our example vehicle will be a 2002 Toyota Yaris 1 litre petrol. Okay so before we start the job we're going to need a, a manufacturer's wiring diagram for the engine management system. We're going to need a diagnostic tool and we need our multimeter. So the first thing we will do is uh, verify the fault by checking the functionality of the engine management light on the instrument cluster and then we're going to get our diagnostic tool, plug in the vehicle and see what fault codes are stored in the engine management system memory. So using the snap-on diagnostics we're going to pick a um, scanner in Toyota. I'm going to pick out 2002 model here. After that, we're going to pick manual ID, it's much faster. And we're going to pick out a Toyota Yaris. Yaris, sir. Pick out a one litre petrol engine. Okay. Then we're going to pick the engine management system and we're going to read the fault codes. So let's just have a quick look at our manufacturer's data here. It says that um, if there's a open circuit in the uh, coolant temperature sensor circuit, it'll go to minus 40 on the actual values, and it'll go to 140 degrees Celsius if there is a short to ground on the signal wire. And that's very important. There's a lot of uh, useful information we can gather from the live data there. Okay, so let's have a look at the wiring diagram for the coolant temperature sensor. The coolant temperature sensor is B24 on the diagram. So we'll show that here. Okay, so now I'm just going to uh, highlight the circuit uh, where the fault is located. So we start here at the ECU. That's the signal wire there. We have the sensor itself, and then we have the sensor earth. Okay, yeah, so we'll just zoom in a small bit now so we can get a better look. Okay, so B4 on the ECU, that's for the signal wire. And B9 on the ECU, that's for the sensor earth. So we know from the live data that the signal wire is shorted to ground. It could be shorted to the engine block or the chassis. Another possibility is that the sensor itself has lost its resistance and is shorting the two wires together. Like that there. And finally, the two wires may be shorted together within the loom if they were making contact from rubbing. Next, I just check the voltage there on B4. Um, it should be uh, like two, three, or four volts, something like that, but it's stuck at zero, which does indicate that uh, that wire is short to the ground. Next, we are going to check the resistance between B9 and B4 with the circuit isolated. This means plugging out the engine ECU.
the resistance should be in the thousands due to the coolant temperature sensor uh, being in the circuit. Uh, ours is actually showing zero ohms. So so next we plug out the coolant temperature sensor. And our resistance is still at zero ohms. This proves that the two wires for the coolant temperature sensor are short together. So once we repair this now in the loom, we can verify the repair by clearing the file codes and rechecking the live data, which now reads normally. I'll just show quickly there now what the uh, open circuit looks like on live data. So I'll just plug out the coolant temperature sensor here to put a simulated broken sensor or open circuit sensor. Okay, and we'll go back and look at live data now. And you can see there like what the Bosch Easytronic said, uh, open circuit will show us minus 40 degrees Celsius on the uh, diagnostic tool. And that shows that either the sensor, the signal wire, or the earth wire for the um, sensor is open circuit. And you can check each of those individually by doing a resistance check. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'd love to get some feedback, or if you think there's any other videos you might find useful, just let me know.